Hello there, chickadees. Welcome to today's diary entry. I'm Valeria Alicia, and I am a mom to a 19 year old, and I'm currently pregnant. I am 26 weeks pregnant this week with baby number two, and I wanted to bring you a baby products that are not worth the splurge video. Now, with that being said, I'm also going to give you options as to what to replace those items with that I think are totally worth saving the money. I'm going to save you over $1,200. Keep that between you and I. <laughs> I'm going to be saving you that much money. So if you were to get every single item that I'm about to mention and not get the expensive item, you'll be saving over $1,200. Yes. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So I made a list on my phone and right here you can see I not only wrote down the expensive item, but I also wrote down the alternative, which I think is worth buying so you can save money. So a lot of these items are very, very popular items in the baby product group. So I'm not gonna lie, I put a lot of these in my baby registry at first, but I am so glad that I don't have them and that I didn't actually spend the money on these. And I'll tell you why as I go along. So let's start with the Docatot. So this is a very, very popular item. I see a lot of parents have the Docatot and they use it a lot for nighttime. And also during daytime, they have their baby fall asleep in there and it's actually not safe for sleep. Uh, I know that I'm pretty certain that it's banned from Canada for this reason. A lot of parents were using it um, to have baby fall asleep in it and things like that. And unless you're actively watching your kid, you're not actually supposed to do that. And uh, so anyway, I didn't know this at the time. I actually put this doc, the Docatot on my registry while we were pregnant with our firstborn and I, we didn't get it. And I'm kind of glad that we didn't because I didn't miss it. Uh, you don't use it for that long. I think you use it can be up to six months if I'm not mistaken, depending on how long and active your baby is. So it varies from three to six months, I believe is the range. This item is priced at $175 all the way up to 205. And the item that I think is worth it instead is the Boppy Lounger pillow. This item is $32. So the difference right there is huge. You'll be saving $173, y'all, by getting the Boppy Lounger. And I love the Boppy Lounger so much. I used to use it when I was pumping. I would have my baby next to me. I was able to feed her one-handed because she was propped right there next to me and do my pumping session, no problem. It was very, very useful. And it was easy to just have her next to me at all times, whether I was on the floor or on the couch, I would find the room for this pillow. And I thought it was very brilliant that this worked just as well, if not even better. Because especially if you have a baby that is very gassy or colicky, you know, um, it helps to have them a little prepped up as opposed to completely flat, which is what the Docatot is. Number two is the expensive monitor. So here's the thing. I wanted the, I think it's the optic infant monitor, which is I think $165. Now these monitors can go up to well over 300, if not close to $300 and I didn't want to spend that money on it. The more and more I watched videos on parents that have been, you know, parents for a while, they keep saying that you really don't need that and uh, just a regular, I don't know, walkie-talkie kind of deal works just as fine, but I wanted to be able to see my baby, you know? First time parents, you do want all that, I get it. I was on the same boat. So I did not want to spend the money on it. So here we are, baby's already born, and I find myself just checking on her. It felt like every five minutes. <laughs> so 
I'm like, okay, well, what gives? I'm gonna have to get something different because I really, really want, you know, a monitor so that I can do my thing outside of the room so I don't have to keep going in to, you know, not only bug her, but for my sake, my mental health, I needed to check up on her. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I found this great deal on this monitor that is only $70. And I think it's by the brand Hello Baby. Hello Baby. Uh, it's only $70, you guys. That's huge, huge savings again. So it was... A monitor that I did not need Bluetooth for. It was not wireless, so I didn't have to use any sort of, you know, Wi-Fi connection or anything like that. That's another thing that I didn't want. I get that now with technology. That's what we aim for. We really want, you know, everything connected to our phones so that we can see our babies and all of that stuff. But I didn't want that. Anybody can hack into my Wi-Fi. It just creeps me out. So I didn't want any of those you know, high tech, technology wise, uh, it just didn't appeal to me. And so to us actually, none of us wanted it. And so when I found this option at the time I bought it, it was only $49.99. And let me tell you, it goes on sale all the time, all the time. I highly, highly recommend keeping an eye on this. If you're close to being due, this is such an awesome item. So you just pr uh, prop your, a camera next to your baby and you just have the monitor next to you or with you at all times uh, For reference. I am in a one-story house. I go out to my garage. I still have signal I go all the way to the furthest point of my house I have never lost signal, but I don't know what it's like from like a second story building I would read reviews on that if I were you just to make sure but I love 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 the quality for what I needed, the purpose of it, it's brilliant, it works great. You don't need anything fancy, I promise you. And it does the work that we need it for, so. Next is the Hatch Grow Changing Pad Smart Scale. This is $150, and let me tell you, it looked so awesome. I actually added it to my registry as well. Um, it just, looks so neat that I was be I would be able to track my baby's weight and all that good stuff and at the same time it would be so easy to clean and all that and yada yada yada. Well, I started looking at other options and a lot of people were saying you actually won't be weighing your kid every single time. It might sound like a good idea, but you'll probably forget about it more often than not to, you know, weigh your baby and all that stuff. And I'm like, okay. Well, if I'm not gonna put it to good use and there's actually no point in spending the money on it. So I was looking at other changing pads uh, that were easy to clean because I don't like the ones that you have to put the like fabric cover on it and you know, you have to keep cleaning it, accidents happen, blowouts happen. And so I wanted something that was easy to clean. So I stumbled upon the Skip Hop changing pad um, and it was only $62 compared to $150. I got it for us with our uh, baby registry uh, through Amazon. We got gift cards and I purchased it and I am so glad that we did. I love it. To this day, I still use it and I plan on using it with baby number two. So there you'll be saving some money again. It is just crazy how, you know, I thought that I needed something and I was gonna miss it. I didn't miss weighing my baby at all. All right, let's talk about the Halo bassinet. So my sister had the Halo bassinet and she said that she was disappointed in it. She didn't use it to the capacity that she thought she was gonna use it. It was not as convenient as she thought it was gonna be. And so I kept hearing back and forth, it was either a yes or a meh not really it's not worth it so i was like okay do i want to splurge this particular uh baby product is from 200 dollars all the way up to like 350. so it's a lot of money for a bassinet that you're probably only going to use them till they're about three depending on how big or small your child is maybe six months and so i was like okay i don't know that i want to spend that money on something that i might only use for 
a few months with a lot of baby products unfortunately that's the longevity of things because you know your baby grows so fast um some kids more than others and so i was like i really don't want to spend the money on it well i'm glad that i didn't because i ended up getting the graco pack and play with bassinet insert which is only 75 dollars not just that but you can actually keep using the pack and play we go out all the time when we go to our parents house we take it with us it is so convenient so in the long run you'll use the pack and play even more than just your regular bassinet and it comes with a bassinet insert and most of them even come with a changing uh what do they call it like the changing station i guess it's like an attachment that they have on it which is brilliant you can even change your baby on it so for 75 dollars you have a lot more things to do with this than the bassinet that is just strictly for bedtime the hatch sound machine so this is a product that i heard from so many people that i needed it in my life that it's such an amazing baby product that the baby actually asks for it you can change the color you can bluetooth it from your phone it's amazing you can put a timer on it and all this and that and i honestly thought that i was gonna get it but the only reason i didn't is because i got another option at my baby shower so the hatch uh, sound machine ranges right now i think the older model and they have a newer model so the older model model is right now on sale for 60 dollars, and then the newer version i believe is 89.99 so 90 dollars. okay now i got a sound machine just like a regular sound machine from amazon that was 35 dollars and to be honest with you the actual sound machine that we have we got it and when i looked it up that exact same version was about twenty dollars so another way to save you really don't need the fancy light changing colors and all that stuff you don't need the bluetooth you don't even need the timer you just need a sound machine and i love our sound machine honestly i never turn it off <laughs> because it's just so convenient and my baby loves it every single night so up to you if you want to splurge a little bit but i'd highly recommend not doing so because you could be saving so much money another popular item is the four moms mamaru chair swing set whatever this is this is a very very expensive product i think it's about 250 dollars or maybe 300 i'm not sure but it's a very very expensive baby product that i've heard some moms say like their their kid either loves it or absolutely despises it and so it's a very high ticket item to have that risk in my opinion and so i did a little more digging and i did a little more research and after that, I stumbled upon the uh, Graco sw Swing slash, uh, what is it, Sling? Sling, yeah, set. And that one is, oh, please, hold on, I have it in my phone here. The Graco Baby Swing Bouncer. Okay, it's a bouncer, and at the same time, it's a swing. So you can take the bouncer out and put it anywhere it's just like a regular bouncer in itself and then you can also put it back into the swing and have it face in different directions it swings in all different directions uh and that one is 149 dollars and my baby loved it she loved her swing it was such a good way to soothe her calm her down she would uh fall asleep and then i would take her and put her in her bassinet pack and play after she was done it was just amazing i really really liked it um we had a really good experience with ours the next product is one of those things that i feel like all nurseries have it nowadays and i'm still unsure if it was a must <laughs> it was nice to have but i'm just not sure that i can justify the price range for all of these so it is a nursery glider so 
The one that I particularly liked was close to $300. These guys can go up to like $400 plus. Dollars. <sighs> and uh, it, that's a lot of money for a piece of furniture that you're only going to use for their maybe first year of life. And then you're stuck having to get rid of it somehow, I feel like. Because you're probably not going to get a lot of good use out of it after their first year. So we were looking at rocking chairs outdoor rocking chairs and we stumbled upon one at home depot and in person at the store it was i think it was 70 dollars and when i looked online it is a hundred dollars so 99.99 now the thing with this is you're probably thinking yeah but it's still kind of an expensive item maybe yeah okay it's still not close to 250 plus like those other gliders however once that year is up and you know you're like what am i going to do with this it could be an outdoor furniture it could be a front part porch furniture for you you can find a lot of good you know places to put it around your house rather than just doing away with a piece of furniture which is what i really liked about this i love the rocking chair it was so convenient and it was so easy to move around i would put it in my living room while i was watching tv i would rock her to sleep or I could put it in her room or in my room. It's so easy to move around. Again, I live in a one-story house, so that may be a little different for you. Circumstances may be a little different, but it just know that it's easy to move around and you can find a purpose for it afterwards. All right, the Fawn Design diaper bag. Oh, this is such a popular diaper bag. I feel like there's so many moms that have it. It is such a beautiful bag and I get why it's so appealing to so many of us. I wanted it myself, but it is $170. So I did not want to spend that kind of money on a diaper bag. Anything over $100 to me, it's too much. And so I was looking for something similar-ish or different and I stumbled upon this one on Amazon and it is a dupe for $59.99. I love this diaper bag, you guys. It is literally one of my favorites. I have three diaper bags. Kind of an obsession there. Don't be like me. You just need one, I promise. <laughs> but if you're going to go for one, I highly recommend this one. I just told my friend she's going to be going to Disneyland. She was looking for one that she could hook to her stroller. And this one actually comes with the hooks to put on your stroller. And I don't think the Fun Design one even has those uh, extension things that you put on the side so you could put it on your stroller. And the one from Mrs. Fong, Miss Fong, I think is what it is, Miss Fong store on Amazon, which is the dupe, comes with these. So. You can wear it as a, like a bag on, over your shoulder. You can wear it as a backpack or you can put it on your stroller. It comes with a changing pad and it has so much room on the inside. It has insulation so you can put two regular milk bottles. It is super convenient and spacious. It has a hidden pocket on the bottom. I really, really like this bag and I don't regret a thing. The Baby Brezza. Brezza, Brezza, One Step Sterilizer. Whew. So I originally wanted this item because I thought, oh, it's so convenient to just like every night just put my bottles in there to sterilize and, you know, wake up in the morning, it'll be all dry and this and that, you know, you start looking at this stuff. But it's over, I think it's over, is it $100? It's $110. So I was like, okay, that's kind of expensive and it only fits like a certain amount of bottles. It's not that many. So, okay, here I am thinking, I don't know what to do. But then because I am a full-time pumping mom, I was looking at ways to clean my bottles and all that stuff. So I wanted to do everything. And I stumbled upon this Medela uh, steam sterilizing bags that's meant to be for your uh, breast pump stuff. So you can sterilize everything, 
you know as you go because you're supposed to sterilize everything at least once a day and so I was like okay that's that's actually pretty cool so these bags when I get them I thought they were gonna be good for just one use at a time because it comes with ten of them the pack but these bags you can use them up to 20 times each so all you do is put in your bottle parts and fill it up with two ounces of water stick it up in the microwave for three minutes and you're good to go it is the easiest and most simplest thing and it's not time consuming i don't have to stress over you know putting as much as i can fit because it's just three minutes in the microwave and then all i do is just set them up to dry and then we're done it was super easy and convenient ten dollars you guys versus 110 that's a hundred dollars in savings and last but certainly not least we have the baby nutribullet <sighs> okay so this is this is something that i really thought i needed i wanted to start baby on purees even though part of me wanted to do baby led weaning i was still afraid that my baby may choke it's you know first time being a parent it's just you have a lot of trust issues okay <laughs> at least i did i shouldn't say that everybody does i i did i was so afraid with her choking and all that stuff so i was trying to take it easy i wanted to slowly get her started on purees and then move on to solids you know slowly here and there anywho i thought that i needed the baby bullet the baby bullet runs to you about sixty dollars and then I found out that I didn't need that. All you need is your regular blender that you most likely already have. Super easy, you guys. Don't spend your money on the baby bullet. It's totally not worth it. Just use your regular blender that you have or food processor works great too. Just don't spend your $60 on this. It's so not worth it. It is just for looks. It looks beautiful. It's super cute, but you don't need it. What did you not splurge on and got something else instead? Tell us of other ways we can save money. As always, every single product that I mentioned will be linked in the description box. Yes, even the splurge items will be in the description linked. <laughs> so it'll be easy and convenient to check them both out. I will also have all the uh, money that you can save by switching to the non-splurge products as well so from one to the other so you'll be able to see clearly how much money you'll be able to save so i hope that makes it a little easier for you i hope that i helped in any way shape or form if i have please leave me a comment and until next time i will catch you on my next diary entry Un besote. bye